Hey guys, welcome to day 124 of my carnivore journey. Today I just want to talk a little bit about what I ate. This is my daily vlog. This is what I do. I just tell you guys what I eat, how I feel. So if you haven't subscribed, please come on board. Uh, welcome to the family. For those of you that follow me regularly, you know what I'm doing. So <laughs> anyways, guys, um, 124. And I hope your journey's going well. I really do. Um, you guys have been really interacting with me on the comments like usual. I love it. And um, here's some good things, some good feedback. Um, of course, you know, we always got to battle the, the negativity, right, guys? Um, but we're not going to get into negativity today. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about regularly, like what you're going to regularly eat on carnivore. Now, this is the this is the controversial part because everybody's different, right? Everybody's different, and some people just like certain things differently. You know, I'm just telling you what is becoming my normal thing. So, some of you probably are going to guess it, but let's take a look at my my dinner tonight. <laughs> That's right, the one pound burger. So it has become a regular staple of mine, and I have gotten the recipe down the way I like it, the way I like it. Now, you may not like it. You might not want dashes of Tabasco. You may not want garlic or onion. Maybe you just want salt. But here's what I would tell you. If you're going to do just a meat and salt burger, if you want to be as pure as you can, take your one-pound meat, put it in a bowl, and, and here's what I would alter on the tea, on the salt. I do a teaspoon of salt, but I'm starting to find that a teaspoon of salt is just, it's getting a hair on the saltier side for me right now. Now, again, your, your, your taste may change, like depending on maybe your electrolyte levels and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But maybe go like three quarters of a teaspoon type thing, right? Just, just don't fill it up all the way. Do a teaspoon of, of uh, ish, um, of salt on your pound of meat and then really work that meat with your hands, mash it up. That really helps the texture and it helps you to, to get through the burger better. In my opinion, it's going to make it more palatable as I say, right? So just mash it up real good with your, with your hands and then make it into your, your, your burger patty, throw it on the grill. And I flatten mine with some parchment paper and a, and a burger press, I flatten mine a little more out and just, just get it that, that right thickness. And then six minutes, I just sit there and let it sear. Now, another thing that I did as well is I did alter my recipe tonight. Normally, you guys see where once I get it on the grill and I smash it, I smear that top part with baking grease, flip it, and then put um, like a couple of tablespoons of butter. Tonight, I actually omitted the bacon grease. I put it on the grill and then I put a few, um, just a couple of tablespoons of butter on top of that. And then when I flipped it, I put a couple more pats of butter on the top. And it came out really good. Um, you know, so I, I just felt like, hey, because I, I can't, if I'm going to, whenever I eat the one pound burger regularly like this, I can't keep smearing a couple tablespoons of like bacon grease every night because I'm not eating bacon right now. So I'm, I'm getting lower and lower on bacon grease. Um, and it's much easier to have butter on hand than bacon grease. <laughs> so I figured I, I better start trying to change the recipe up. Uh, and, and every once in a while, maybe I'll, I'll put some bacon grease on there. You know, when I, when I start getting some more bacon grease built back up, you know, that would be a way of me to, to filter that out. And I had a couple hard boiled eggs for lunch. So all I had today, I had like two hard boiled eggs with some Redmond salt on the eggs. I'm like doing the salt, like I'm, like I'm salting the egg. And, uh, I talk with my hands, man, I can't help it. <laughs> and I had the one pound burger and I'm, I'm full. Now, if I get hungry, I, I try not to eat too much overnight. I, I, I do like to fast. Um, but, and, and I got my coffee. So I got my coffee with a splash of cream and three drops of iodine, which I still keep right here in my studio for some reason. I used to keep it by my coffee maker, 
But I've been keeping it in here just to show you guys. I don't know if it'll focus on the, the bottle, but it is the 2%. I think I have I have autofocus turned off, I think. But it is the Logos, uh, the Lugol Solution 2%. And it's like, it does have potassium, iodine 4%, iodine 2%, 60 milliliters. But anyways, this is this I got the I actually used the link from uh, Dr. Barry to to find the exact one to get. But I do three drops a night. Now you can do more. You can do less. That's what I wanted to do. Now, some people told me I need to increase that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I I, I, I don't know. Ooh, coffee's still a little hot. <laughs> I better take this lid back off. Usually I let it sit here without the lid for a little bit, let it cool down just a touch. So a little more about cooking. In in the carnivore community, again, everybody has a little different. Some of you are going to be steak eaters. Like some of you can afford to go and eat pretty much steak every night. Um, and then you may change up a little bit. Again, some of you may be trying to fluctuate a lot. You might have burger one night, steak another night, chicken, pork, beef, whatever, whatever the case is. Um I would tell you that the biggest thing is try to stick to the ruminant animals as much as you can. I've even gotten away from bacon a lot more lately. Now, I'm still going to have my bacon. Don't get me wrong. But I've really tried to get more along with having just the, the, the beef every day from a cow or, what, or whatnot. Uh, because again, you want those animals that have those ruminant stomachs because they they can process and, and get rid of a lot more garbage uh, before it gets into their system than other animals like chickens and pigs. Sometimes they, some of their stuff can stay in their, you know, in their pulp, so to speak, right? Trying to get too disgusting, right? Um, so you you really want to try to stick to ruminant animals the best you can. But for me, I'm starting to settle into this two egg, one pound burger type of thing. Now, I did tell you guys I am going to do more test recipes. And we are. We're going to test some recipes. Um, you'll understand later when I start to do some other videos. You'll, you'll understand. Right now, I don't really want to get into it right now. But you'll get it. You'll get it. Um, but anyways, we'll do some test videos in the future and we'll, we'll test some other recipes for now, though. I'm just trying to hunker down and do pretty much one pound of beef. I thought about doing like a 30 days of like one pound of meat every day and like ground beef and see like almost like a challenge just to kind of see. And again, use myself as a guinea pig. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that or not. I don't know if there's any interest, but I may do that. I thought about because since I am kind of doing that now, I thought, well, what if I just did a pound of meat or just a, you know, like a roughly a pound of ground beef every day? But I hate to limit myself to just an exact measurement because there could be days that you you might want to eat a pound and a half or two pounds. I mean, I don't know. Some people are telling me they I think they're eating like two pounds of meat. I, I can only eat about a pound of meat in one sitting, and then my my brain is like, "Hey, uh, stop!" <laughs> you know. So, um, and I stay pretty pretty well satisfied. If you have anything that you want me to to talk about, cover, um, those type of things, let me know. Because I will be doing some more stuff. It's not going to be just me sitting here with this bet in my little studio here anymore. There's going to be some new stuff. I'm telling you. It's just I'm waiting on some things. And once things in my personal life settle down a bit, we'll, I'm going to start doing some more um, different content as well. Okay. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow for day 125 on this epic journey, you know, epic journey. All right, guys. Bye.